now we will study about the ac analysis of differential amplifier so here we are discussing the case of single input unbalanced output configuration of differential amplifier so see the figure here you have only one input the other input is not connected it is straightly coming to the ground so it is single input case the output is taken from one collector with respect to ground so it is unbalanced output now so for discussing about the ac analysis we need to consider only the ac input voltages assume that all the vc volt dc voltages what you are connecting are equal to zero that means vcc and minus e v e e no more therefore ac analysis it will be connected straightly to ground so before drawing that this is the ac equivalent of this differential amplifier before drawing the ac equivalent i just tell you the small signal equivalent or ac equivalent of this transistor alone this is an npn transistor so already in the electronic circuit you have studied the small signal model of transistor so when i am drawing the again i'm just refresh you here this thing so the ac equivalent model of the transistor i can i just show you how it is this is the ac equivalent of this npn transistor this is the collector this is the base this is the emitter of this transistor now ac equivalent this part is the base now from the base the internal resistance beta re is connected to the emitter beta re actually um, that is again we can write this as uh, beta re is equivalent to ri the input resistance of the transistor so i can write as beta re is equal to ri now the this is the collector from the collector this is the emitter from the collector you have the collector current ic ic is beta times ib then the collector to emitter you have a resistance called ro normally the collector to emitter resistance ro is considered to be very high i can say it as infinite infinite means this is just like a open circuit so this transistor for is drawing the ac equivalent model i have to replace with this this one you can neglect it because uh, that one uh, it is very high so i can neglect so these two transistors will be replaced by this equivalent models so after that i can draw the ac equivalent just see now this transistor is replaced by this beta re is represented by ri so this one is ri representing the transistor 1 so ri1 beta1 ib1 for ic1 of transistor 1 now from the base this is the input voltage is connected then the transistor transistor emitter is this this the second transistor emitter is this both are shorted and connected to the resistance re to uh, minus re to minus ve that means it is the dc voltage so that it should be grounded now see this is the collector from the collector you are taking the output to vo1 from the collector rc1 is connected to vcc now vcc is not there it is equal to ground so rc is directly ground now here we are considering because transistor q1 and q2 are well matched so i can write as q1 since the transistor q1 and q2 are well matched i can write as rc1 is equal to rc2 is equal to rc that means uh, or ib1 is equal to ib2 is equal to ib 
or in also i can write like uh, r i 1 is equal to r i 2 is equal to r i all the internal resistances are same or beta 1 is equal to beta 2 is equal to beta because both the transistor are same so from that i can write so all the contents of the transistor will be same only now for deriving the expression for the voltage gain i have to find what is ib so uh, for getting ib i need to apply the kvl at the base of the transistor so right uh, now for the kvl applying i should consider this path see this resistance re the resistance re is assumed to be very large so this is very large means almost i can say infinite so this path current cannot flow so i cannot take a path like this i have to take the kvl path like this so it will start from here like this this is my kvl path now see the current is flowing suppose ib1 ib2 equal so i'm just considering the current ib for getting the v output first i should get what is ib so so by writing the kvl i have to consider this loop so with that i have redrawn the diagram here now see this is the vi1 vi1 next ib ri1 it is flowing like this to ri2 to ground again now this is assumed to be very large so i can cancel this so my path is like this so when the current is flowing like this this is assumed to be plus this is minus this is plus this is minus so i have written here this is now kvl so kvl is vi1 minus plus to minus minus ri1 multiplied by the current ib minus ri2 multiplied by the current ib should be equal to zero from this equation rearranging you will be getting ib as vi1 divided by ri as already i told you both the transistors are well matched i can consider beta1 is equal to beta2 that is beta so we already know the expression beta is ic divided by ib what is ic then beta times ib now if we are substituting the value of i c no value of i b from here so we can rewrite the equation like this so that means the value of i b you are substituting from here this value of i b you are substituting from this expression you will get this expression like this now you know that v output is equal to v output v output means it is v output one here so v output to 1 just see the figure v output to 1 will be equal to the current is ic multiplied by rc so v output 1 is equal to ic multiplied by rc so already you know what is ic ic you will get from here so the substitute the value of ic from this equation here you be getting v over one like this now you know already i told you ri this is ri ri is equal to beta times ri so v output to one you are substituting this ri as beta times ri you beta here and beta here will cancel you will get the expression rc by 2 ri into v i one so Uh, i can now rewrite my the output expression v out 1 you are getting as first we derived it is is equal to v out is equal to rc by 2 re into v i 1 now we will derive actually our aim is to derive the voltage gain voltage gain is equal to v out divided by v input so v out by v input it is equal to rc by 2 re 
so the voltage gain equation here will be rc by 2 times r already you know that beta times r e is equal to r i the internal resistance so this is the voltage gain expression for single input and balanced output configuration of differential amplifier just now what we discussed was dual input unbalanced output differential amplifier now the will sorry just now what we discussed was single input unbalanced output now we will discuss dual input unbalanced dual input means double input so we will be applying both the side input earlier this side was zero now the AC equivalent diagram will be this so for the AC equivalent diagram like the previous case I neglected RS1 and RS2 I don't consider here Ad other uh, rest all are same now see here uh, this input this input both the input are present so if you want to calculate so the output means it is due to the effect of this input and this input differential amplifier so output will be the amplified version of the difference between the two input so for uh, doing deriving the voltage gain expression here since two voltage sources are there we have to go for superposition theorem so all of you have studied superposition theorem in dc circuit analysis ac circuit analysis so i just apply here superposition means at a time one source will be active other will be equal to zero so second time the next source is active this one will be equal to zero then the output will be due to the individual response of these two so first i am considering this source is equal to zero so this is active if this is equal to zero the case will be same like single input case so all the expression what you are deriving it will be same like single input case already we have done now so find v o 1 due to this voltage source alone now consider this source is active this is inactive vi1 is inactivity is equal to zero again the case comes similar to single input case so the again you can derive same manner vo1 or vo2 for the second input now your total output will be due to the sum of the two inputs we are we already derived the vi1 and vi2 so the see this thing you can do by yourself because the same manner what you have done for the single input case only you have to remember here here it's a gain means it is differential gain because two inputs are there so we are taking the difference between the input will be at the output it's getting amplified so the differential gain is equal to output divided by the differential input vd vd means it is the difference between the two input vi1 and vi2 so we will get the same expression like previous when and you are deriving you will understand that the gain you are getting same as that of single input case so please try by yourself it and see it okay that is the AC analysis part of double input case thank you